Well, hello, welcome. This is your host Nate. And today we're going to take a look at this a uh, 1500 square foot two bathroom three bedroom home made by Schultz Home. There really is no model name for this home. This is a model name, I'll put it down there, but uh, like I said, there really is no model name for this home. But as always, there will be a link in the description to this home on the uh, website. And that website will take you to the homeboys here in Pasco. Because that's where we are filming today. So yes, a lot of traffic right next to the freeway. And uh, makes it difficult to film. So hopefully this uh, outside isn't going to be too bad. Do want to point out the door back there? But, uh, I'm glad that these guys let me come film. This is the second time I've been out here. I was just at their other location in uh, Spokane. So these guys have worked with me a lot in letting me come film. I do appreciate it. And you guys should appreciate the videos and leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Especially once we get inside. What you think of the home? What you'd like to see changed? What you don't want to see changed? What you'd like to see added to it? And with that, let's go ahead and head on in. So now as we walk in, this is a more of a wide open floor plan. So you do tend to look into your kitchen and your dining room area when you walk in. These are really nice homes. Schultz does a good job of making a good, high end, affordable home is what I've noticed in the filming so far. Nice large living room. Kind of a different style of built-in entertainment center. Plenty big to uh, set your TV on. Of course, I'd probably hang it from the wall. That way I've got room down below to set everything. But definitely kind of different looking. So our dining room area has just a little window off to the side there. Still lets in plenty of light. Plenty of room for a much larger table. And obviously it would sit out into your walkway area a little bit, but you could always easily fit a much, much larger table there. And I like the recessed lighting which you have pretty much all the way throughout the home except for a few lights like that. Now there are, obviously there's no island in this kitchen. There's plenty of room to option in an island right there. I'm sure that could easily be done even if it is just a small island. And you get the black Frigidaire appliances. Now there is not a lot of cabinet space in this home, but you do get really nice backsplash here, all the way up to the bottom of the cupboards. I like it when they run them all the way up to the bottom of the cupboards, just kind of makes it look that much better. And as I said, there is not a lot of cabinet space in here. 
I do not believe there's a pantry. So if uh, storage is a, a necessity for you, or having a lot of storage, this probably isn't going to be the home for you. But that's not to say that you can't add some storage. Back in this area here, you've got your washer and dryer. You've got <clears throat> plenty of room back here. You could probably put some shelving back on that wall there and give yourself some more storage. As long as you leave room for that access to your water heater, then you'll be just fine. That is access to the water heater. So you could easily put some shelving in there, give yourself some more storage. Make it a small pantry. Now let's go check out your bedrooms. One thing they do give you though, is some large bedrooms. So I'll add the uh, dimensions in here once I get the floor plans. As you can see, you get some nice large bedrooms to go with that. You get really big closets. So bedroom number two can be right around the corner here. Once again, as you can see, you get nice large bedrooms. Now, both your bedrooms are at the very end of the home. But once again, really big closets in here. So you got plenty of room to store stuff in the closets like your kids toy box whatever else at least I know that's where I'd be putting his toy box that way it's out of the way but yeah we can't forget the bathroom <laughs> almost walked right by the bathroom so just a square sink mirror got the recessed lighting hello Raiden Just your standard average size uh, kids bathroom here is the one piece shower tub combo. Nice transom window up above it there. And now we can go check out the master bedroom. So now as we come into your master bedroom, it is a good sized bedroom. Width wise, it is not the widest bedroom, but as you can see, it is a very long bedroom. So you've got lots of space in your bedroom here. Plenty of room to, for a recliner even. Sit down, relax. In your bathroom. They do just give you a single sink in here, but plenty of counter space. Set of drawers underneath there. Once again, just the shower tub combo. Now, <clears throat> this bathroom is big enough that you might be able to option in a shower there and have your tub sitting right over here where they got this rack or set of shelves, whatever you want to call it. So those of those ladies know what that's called. I'm sure some of the guys do too. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what that's called. And then back here is going to be your closet. Yes, I know I keep asking you all to leave comments. 
it does help the videos perform better. The more comments the videos have, the better YouTube thinks the video is. And it, so they uh, show those videos to more people. And I would hope that you guys will help me grow my channel a little bit bigger by leaving comments down below. And while you're down there, uh, hit that subscribe button, turn on notification bells. That way you get notified when I upload videos. Currently uploading three times a week, every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I hope to hear from you. And uh, with that, I will say thanks for watching and you have a good night. Bye.